Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to go right up to here to Window, and we're going to want to select Materials, and you'll get this Materials pane that comes up. Let's stretch that out just a bit. And from here, you can hit Select, and it's going to show you all the materials that are within the model. So you can select any of those, or you can actually go to the materials that are already within the program. Hit material, Materials, there's a drop-down, you can select it from here. So if we want to go to Stone right there, it'll show you the already preloaded stones. So I can click that red one right there, and I can drop it right there on the face. Now you can change the size of this material and the color by going to Edit. And we're just going to adjust the size. We're going to drop it down to 24 inches. Now this is in inches, so you do just want to type in the inch. And then if you wanted to change the color, you can come up here to the slider. You can make it darker or lighter by pulling it down or up. Going to let that update real quick. Okay. And you can also select, if you wanted to go crazy, you can select uh, over here into the color wheel. And there's more selections within here where you can just make minor changes to it. If you want to check those out, you can. But I'm going to reset the color right there, take it back to the original. There we go. Now, if I wanted to make this an image that I've taken of, the, of your client's existing uh, material, let's say they're doing an addition to their house, you can take the picture of their material and then you can put it onto your computer and from there you're going to want to First, you're going to want to create a new material. It's going to create a material that's just like the one that you're already selected on. So here's this, but we can change all that. So what you're going to want to do is click this folder right here. It's going to bring up the file that you've already saved onto your computer, and you can select that material. So let's say that they had a blue stucco, and we're going to want to select that and hit open. And it's going to make this new material that blue stucco. So we're going to hit OK. Now you want to make sure that you don't have shadowed edges on the corner of, of the picture that you take. A lot of pictures that people take, they'll be, it'll be darker around the edges and you'll get like a grid effect on here and it just, it's not going to look very natural. So you kind of want to select that and you can dump that new material in. So again, if you come in here, you have, obviously that's too big, so what we're going to want to do is hit edit and change the size, drop it down to about six and eight inches. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad at all. All right. So that's how you would change or bring in the materials from, uh, from your client's existing property. All right. Now, one thing I want to say, uh, if, you're, if you've come to this video for training, one thing you want to make sure to do is to keep these new materials that you bring in you want to label them so that they make sense. Otherwise, it's just going to get crazy up here, down here. So we're going to want to select that. You're going to want to say uh, existing stucco. If it's the existing stucco that's on the house, stucco. And hit OK. Well, you don't have to hit OK. It's just going to update it anyways. Also, every material that you try out or put into the model, I don't even know how that lime green, I don't know where that lime green color is, but every material that you put into the model is going to exist within this in-model pane. Now, whether or not that material is still in the model, it's still going to show up uh, in this list. So just to kind of make sure that you've cleaned this up so that you can find the materials that, you've already that you're using, so you don't have to go through each individual one and hover over them to see what they are, what you're going to want to do is come up here to Material, or sorry, Window, go to Model Info, and you're going to want to go to statistics and this is going to show all the statistics for your edges and your faces and your materials and what you want to do is purge unused and that's going to eliminate any of the materials that you no longer have in your model and a lot of times hitting this you'll drop down your material list um, you'll chop it in half so there's that also I want to show the opacity just go ahead and exit out of that if you're going to do a glass material, um, say you're going to want to make this glass right here, or let's just do an let's just make the stucco opaque. So let the computer catch up. Okay. All right. Window materials, 
in model. Let's find the stucco right there. Edit. Let's turn this back to the color wheel. Down here is the opacity, so you can hit 55% and you'll be able to see through at that point. Okay, if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments section and uh, I'll get back to you right away. Thank you.